Welcome to another great episode of American Rifleman Television. We continue our look at the top 10 most important machine guns this week, and we start off with the Gatling gun. Technically, manually operated, but still, it set the pattern for guns to come. Also this week, we'll look at the Bren light machine gun used by the British Army during World War II and beyond. As a matter of fact, they were still serving during the Falklands. For our Rifleman Review this week, we'll look at an interesting holster from Crossbreed, and yes, it's a chest rig. For I have this old gun, we'll look at the British Baker rifle as used against Napoleon, really one of the most important rifles of all time. But for right now, let's have a close look at the Gatling. It's a little erroneous to put the Gatling gun on the list because it's not technically a machine gun. Uh, when we think of a machine gun, we talk about a gun that is able to reload itself and then fire a second round without any kind of operation or action on the part of the operator. But it's important to talk about the Gatling gun in the history of machine guns because it's the first instance where you have a platform that is capable of delivering large volumes of fire effectively and reliably on a battlefield. Militaries learn a lot of lessons coming out of the First World War. And one of the lessons they learn is that the, the machine guns of the time, even modified, just aren't capable of providing movable, uh, lightweight squad level support. Consequently, in the 1920s, there's a push to develop a platform that can provide squad level support from a lightweight machine gun. And the Czechs are the one that pioneer this. Specifically, it's uh, uh, Vaclav Holek, who designs what we know today as the ZB-26. Crossbreed Holsters has a well-earned reputation for comfortable concealed carry, thanks in large part to its hybrid holster designs. And new for 2020 is this big guy, the chest rig. This is a new chest holster from the company, and while concealment obviously isn't its main priority, it does allow users to carry larger and heavier guns out on their outdoor treks than they would be able to otherwise with other forms of carry. Because of the drubbing that the British received at the hands of American riflemen during the Revolution, they developed their own gun. We know it today as the Baker. 